Hey guys, Garen Balfield Bricks here for episode 12 of Building Con. Thanks to everyone who watched and supported my last video. It means a lot and as always, the feedback is always appreciated. Last episode, we hit the like goal, so if this video can also hit 150 likes in the first week, then I'll be sure to have another video ready by next Thursday. In this episode, I finished the whole right corner of the mock and start work on the church roof, so make sure to stick around till the end of the video to see them both. And if you do find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to share. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications below to not miss another update. And with that taken care of, let's get right into this week's episode. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt here, but I thought I'd start talking to you guys a little bit more over the time lapses and just talk about what I'm doing, my thought processes, and all that fun stuff. But I don't know, opening up this episode, we're just gonna work on some groundwork. I think it's pretty easy and straightforward to get done. It's a lot of just laying bricks, plates, and getting them in a nice, even layered formation, but also looking natural with how they overlap one another. I'm using lots of 2x6 plates here in green just because I have a lot of them in my collection because they were really cheap on Bricklink like a year ago. So I got a couple hundred of them and they've come in handy since then for both this year and last year's con project. Uh, I know a lot of you guys uh, have been asking me to put more damage or explosions kind of into the mock and I'm finally starting to get some of that into the groundwork here in the grass field out front of the church and I'm starting to like how it's looking and I might actually come back in here later and add some more eventually. So for the dirt road that's going to be jutting out here I wanted to give it a little bit of a worn in look with a a lot of the other walkways that looked very treaded on, like the roads and sidewalks were a lot smoother, so I tried to work in a little bit more of a tiled area into it to have a little bit more packed down. Another thing for this mock that I haven't really touched on, I don't believe, is that for all of the transitions between colors, I wanted them to be smooth and rounded, but also looking more natural, like the difference between the dirt soil and grass that have been all on the outside so you can see it's all wedge plates and rounded off plates to give it a little more of a natural feel all right guys the groundwork on this front right section here is now officially all done minus all the parts in my tripod up on here but yeah we got the dirt road all finished up this all filled in and I'm not gonna lie I'm probably gonna take a quick break to eat and then we're gonna get to move on to this left section over here I know it's really quick here but I'm actually just going in and swapping out all of these tiles to classic light gray and uh, fixing this up so I can uh, add the slopes in and get a little bit more structurally stable. All right guys, so a little bit of a transition here, but I uh, wanted to actually work a little bit on the church before I worked more on the groundwork over on the left side over here. Um, I was just getting a little bit burnt out on working on just plates. Uh, so I decided to work on plates for the roof instead because variety, apparently. Um, the inside structure makes this back panel a lot stronger, but these plates are free floating for now um, I'm thinking it's just gonna be the same styled connection I've been doing for 
all the other roofs, which is going to be mixel joints, but this is going to be requiring far more mixel joints. Um, but I think next we're just going to get into a time lapse of, well, sloping this off. So I don't know when you guys go to build with cheese slopes and you put them next to each other on top of a plate, they have this little gap uh, that is really annoying when you're just trying to create a nice sloped surface, but there are ways around this of course, but I've tried to use it to my advantage here with this uh, roof design with just having uh, two by length plates uh, just stacked on top of each other creating a basic staircase and then having all these cheese slopes lined up creates that little lip that perfectly looks like roof tiles especially with uh, the top slide of the slopes actually being a little bit longer than a one by one tile it looks a little bit rectangular as well and while this plays in the background I thought I'd talk about some of the comments from last week's episode uh, lots of encouragement and positivity. I absolutely love it. And thank you guys again. Um, a common question that I get a lot is where do I get the money to do this? And it is quite honestly hard work and running side hustles. Uh, also just selling plasma. Uh, but it's really just a passion project. This is really what I love to do and where a lot of my money for hobbies go. Um, all the vehicles, uh, military-wise, are not designed by me. They're designed by Panzer Brick Labs, who I will just have a permanent place for in the description of my videos from now on. So go check out his Instagram. His work is absolutely amazing. All right, guys, so we got the roof all set into place now. Um, it's about 2,400 G slopes right here. Uh, all's kind of alternating. Uh, the roof is actually just kind of being held in with gravity at the moment. Nothing is really connected super solid quite yet, but uh, I'm gonna move around to the backside over here and show you guys. Uh, so this is kind of what we're working with right here. So I'm thinking uh, from this this top post right here, we're gonna have some hinge plates that are just gonna connect up here, and it's just gonna have a smooth transition line all the way down. Uh, but we're gonna get these dark gray plates swapped out for black here on the top. All right, guys. So I got that support structure. Uh, built. I just raised what we had pre-existing right here by two bricks and then I put in our hinge plates and then I just put a layer of plates to just kind of securely snug keep those in place. Uh, last year on my display my roof kept on moving around and I did it a little bit differently this year so hopefully this will work out and I'll try and get that other roof into place and bring you guys back in. All right guys, got that roof all set into place. Um, it's a little bit trickier than I thought it was gonna be getting those connections in there. It was a little bit tight and I had to remove that tower, but made this thing a little bit modular so I'd be able to have some functionality with that. But yeah, it's a lot taller than I was expecting the roof to be, but Still very happy with it and I'm excited to see what it's going to look like with the tower all put together and then the back section with the roof right here, which I think I'm going to try and design next. Alright guys, so I got this shape kind of plotted out here on the back section. Uh, 
this section just needs to be two studs longer down that way, but um, honestly, I'm kind of debating just going with some uh, two by two slopes, just get that 45 degree perfectly and not have to worry about uh, corners not lining up, small gaps here and there, and misalignments. It's just, after fidgeting with this for like almost an hour, I, I'm just getting to a point where I think basic slope work is going to be my best friend here. Alright guys, so I got a little bit sidetracked because uh, some part orders came in the mail for these two and I just wanted to really get these built. Um, even if they're not for the build, I just kind of wanted to show them off a little bit. Uh, this one over here is uh, designed by me. It's a Spitfire Mark V. And then over here is a BF109 G6 that is modified from Mechanics Lego's design. But yeah, really quite like how these came out and let me know if you guys would like a full video on these. But other than that guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Got a lot done with this grass field here that's going to be out front. And then also the roof up here looking really big over the entire mock now. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you guys really liked. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.